How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer mail unboxing video. Got a couple of Christmas beer packages in from uh, my buddy Lee out in uh, southern Alberta or I guess mid Alberta something like that. But uh, yeah, and uh, Craft Tap, which is a online uh, subscription. Every week you get a uh, new uh, brewery from either Alberta or if you're in Ontario, Ontario. So pretty cool. Check them out if you got the chance to uh, be within their shipping vicinities. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Been really enjoying it. Been subscribed to them for about like nine months. So I'm going to get started with the uh, Craft Tap beer subscription. Uh, yeah, got it opened up a bit already. But um, let's see what's inside this one, shall we? <coughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Town Square Brewing this month. Uh, they're out of Edmonton. Um, I've actually, I think I've reviewed one or two of their beers and really enjoy the brewery. Um, I haven't had this beer though. So the uh, first one is Chainsaws for Hands, a rye and ginger sour. Coming in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Digging that artwork. Looks metal AF. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, then we've got Cornerstone IPA, which I think is just their uh, main IPA that they put out. Pretty sure West Coast style. And then we've got a few more here. They're uh, Pond Surfer California Common. Neat. 5.3%. How strong was this one here? Uh, 6.5. But uh, yeah, cool. Never had this one, actually. I've never had the uh, rye and ginger either. But uh, then we've got Forge Rye Amber Ale. Coming in at 5.2% alcohol. We've got another Forge Rye. Their Mega Watt Nipa, which I've had quite a few times. 6%. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoy this beer. I think I reviewed this one, like, half a year ago, something like that. Yeah, really enjoy it. And uh, another Megawatt Nipa. Sweet. I'll have some uh, Friday drinking to be doing, I guess. All right, up next, I'll put these down here real quick. Up next, I'll uh, be opening up my uh, package from Lee. I know a couple of the beers he sent me, but not all of them. Uh, he was in Jamaica a couple months back and uh, brought me some uh, Jamaican beer. So, pretty stoked. Uh, one I've been actually wanting to try for quite some time. I don't think it's available in Canada. So, um, yeah, we'll see what it is. Alright, open this guy up. One thing about Lee is he packages his uh, beer mails really well. Um, never had a single breakage from him and uh, yeah, been trading with him for quite a few years now. So um, yeah, thanks a lot Lee. Alright, first off, we have got let's see here. The Mocha Porter from Granville Island Brewing. I've actually had this beer, but never did a review. Um, so I uh, really stoked, really enjoyed it. 6% um, alcohol brewed with coffee and cocoa. Pretty cool stuff. They're out of uh, Vancouver, I think. I visited their brewery a couple years back and really enjoyed their beer. And then we've got... Ah, here we go. The uh, Guinness Foreign Extra Stout. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard good stuff about this beer. Uh, he figured I'd enjoy it, so he sent me a bottle. Thanks a lot, man. Really looking forward to this. 7.5% alcohol by volume. I think this is uh, Jamaica Brewed. Yeah, out of uh, Kingston, Jamaica. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks, man. Up next, 
we've got one from Innocent Gun, by the looks of it. Uh, number 15. Let's see here. What is this? 15. Uh, 15th Anniversary Barrel Age Double IPA. 7.4% alcohol by volume. Neat. Neat. Comes in a nifty little box there. Sweet. I'll have to put that on my wall afterwards. And up next, we've got Blonde de l'Enfer, 10.5% alcohol from uh, Unibrew. Pretty neat. I haven't had a Unibrew beer in a few years at least. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Uh, strong Belgian Golden Ale. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Gonna have to do a review of that as well. Nice. And then, this one looks like a can, so won't be using the knife. I've done that before with uh, terrible results. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this is one of them said he'd send me a Power Up Porter from Analog Brewing out in Edmonton as well. Um, I reviewed one or two of their beers uh, earlier this month and really liked their stuff and figured, hey, might as well send me this one. Uh, Vanilla Session Porter, 4.9%. Pretty neat. And then we have beer from Brewsters. They're uh, Jimmy's East IPA, 5.2%. Nice sessional IPA there. I uh, can't really see what hops they're using in it, but I'll have to do my research on that. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Really enjoy Brewster's beer, so sight. And let's see, anything else? Oh, yeah. OT Brewing's uh, 500 Hazy IPA. I actually think I just reviewed this one. Yeah, pretty neat, but it was in different cans. Uh, yeah, sweet, sweet. Awesome. Probably drink that one tonight. <laughs> and then, let's see here. Another OT Brewing beer. Uh, their Bush League Pilsner. Neat. I always like a nice Pilsner. One of my favorite uh, beers to drink, multiple cans of. <laughs> Always love a good Pilsner. And let's see, more, a couple more. Oh, quite a few more, all right. Polar Night Chocolate Porter from Alley Cat. I honestly didn't even know this beer existed, but that's pretty cool. 5.3% uh, alcohol. It's brewed with uh, cacao as well. Nice, nice. Should be fun. Always like a nice chocolate beer. And we got, ah, sweet. I've actually been wanting to try this one for a while, bud. Thanks a lot. Uh, Troll Juice from Parallel 49 out in uh, Vancouver. Um, yeah, love the labeling, that's one thing. It's like my spirit animal right there. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. 7.8%. Wow, that's a big ol' hazy nipa, pretty sure. Kvik. Double IPA. Oh, that's a pretty sure a Norwegian uh, ale yeast that they use for that. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. Sight for that one. Might review that tonight. And... Up next, uh, the Cream Ale. I actually just reviewed this one from the Alberta Craft Beer Advent Calendar. Really enjoyed it. Psyched I get to try it again. It's from uh, Good Mood Brewery out in Calgary, maybe? Yeah, Calgary. Really, really like this beer, dude. Thanks. Can't wait to try it. Probably going to drink it tonight. And... Let's see, I think this is the last one here. Yeah, sure is. Sweet. 
All right, last but not least, we have another one from Good Mood Brewery, their IPA, India Pale Ale. Sweet. I really like that can art. Really simplistic, but, like, really neat. Um, yeah, 6%, pretty sure. Yeah, sweet. Sweet, man. Super stoked. Gonna have some fun times this weekend, I guess, uh, on my buddy Lee and the good folks at... Uh, Craft Hat Brewery, or Craft Hat Inc. I forget what they're called exactly, but yeah. Uh, let me know what y'all think of any of these beers. If you've tried them, um, which beers you would like to see of, uh, reviews of first, and I'll get to that as soon as possible. But um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot to Lee again and uh, Craft Hat, and till the next time, cheers everybody.